Hey guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited after way too much time to share with you my free skate series. Woohoo! We are going to be starting off with pre free skate. Let's lace up our skates and I'll see you on the ice. Our next skill are back crossovers to a back outside edge. We are going to do this both clockwise and counterclockwise and let's aim for a six second hold. The goal for this is going to be edge strength and our body position. I'm going to be doing about four to five back crossovers before I settle into my back outside edge position. I am going to have my arms turned into the circle and my head turned into the circle as well. My balance is over my skating foot and my free leg is extended and turned out. So I'm looking backwards as I'm doing my crossovers. My arms are extended. My foot is reaching to the circle pushing away, balance, look into the circle, extend the free leg, balancing over my skating foot. A couple exercises on this move. After I do my back crossovers, I can pause with a two foot glide, then extend. So back crossover, two foot glide to balance, then extend. I can also just practice back half swizzle pumps. Make sure I'm proper edges. My inside foot is on a back outside edge, then extend. The third thing I would do to improve the skill is separate the skills. Practice your back crossovers by itself on the circle, clockwise and counterclockwise, and also practice your back outside edges solo, and then with a free leg position. So first, Easiest to do a heel to toe position or more compact will be easier to balance. And when you feel more stable, you can add that free leg extension. Lastly, you can practice at the wall, holding on, bending your skating knee and extending your free leg, especially the knee. And remember to point your toe. For our next skill, we have a back outside edge to a forward outside edge transition. The goal is to hold our forward outside edge for six seconds. We're going to focus on both our edge quality and their balance. I'm going to be on a back outside edge to the heel position. I'm gonna open up my upper body to the outside of the circle. Look back where am I going, open my feet and my hips. I'm gonna step forward in alignment, arm over the leg stepping and balance. My knee is pointing forwards, slightly turned outside the circle here. So here, arms, look back, hips are going to follow, neat feet step forward and balance. Balancing on the front half of my skate, heads, shoulders, hips follow, and I'm adding a push here too. And this is my one, two, three, four, five, six to balance. To practice this, I would practice holding my back outside edge as long as possible by itself and also my forward outside edge as long as possible backwards. You can also practice this transition in a straight line. So I'm on a straight line here. I'm opening up here and you can practice even just adding a two foot turn in there until you get more comfortable with the step. I would also practice this at the wall. So let's head over there. So I am on my back outside edge, turning outside the circle, hold on to the wall for stability so I can feel myself opening my hips to step forward. Our third skill will be our combination move. We are going to link a lot of skills together, so this is exciting. We have two forward crossovers, a forward inside mohawk. We're going to step down, cross behind, back crossover, then a forward inside edge. Don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds, but let's go ahead and break it down. The goal is to do this sequence three times. We will be focusing on balance and coordination. Alrighty, folks, so we have two forward crossovers. We're going to bring our free leg heel 
to our middle of the other skate. Step down, check, look back, push forward, cross behind, back crossover, keep looking back where you're going, neat feet to step forward. So let's repeat that. Two crossovers, we're gonna go for even rhythm here. Mohawk, cross behind, cross. I'm stepping forwards neatly here. Let's try it in the opposite direction. This move can be intimidating, so I would break it down. First part I would break down, forward crossover, control the free leg, arms over the circle, to our step. The other way I would break it down is practicing rhythm, doing it in place, stepping it up. Two crossovers, mohawk, step, cross behind, crossover, step forward, making sure that it makes sense in place and then we can put it on the full pattern. Now we have one of my favorites on this level, the one foot spin. This is so exciting for the skaters who master this move in the pre-free skate level. Our goal here is to get three revolutions and we're going to be focusing on balance, keeping our shoulders level, hips level, and spinning on the ball of our foot. I like to start off at the line so we have a target upside down T position. The skating arm is over the skating leg. We're gonna T push. I'm gonna look over my arm towards my target. Spin on the ball of my foot and come out of the spin. If I look at my tracing on the ice, it looks like I'm making a half heart. As I bend, I'm going to get tighter. It's gonna be my hook and my three turn. And I'm going to be spinning on my back inside edge. So I'm bending, bending, bending. I'm getting tighter into my circle. That's the peak of my heart. And now I'm spinning on my back inside edge. With my free leg, I have a skinny V position. I'm here in my skinny V. I also call it my pizza shape, my pizza feet. And I am coming in, my elbows are facing down. Since we are starting off with this newer spin, we'll just keep it simple and spin toe to heel. Remember to make sure you're balanced over your spinning foot when spinning. An exercise I like is the forward glide exercise. I'm gliding in my skinny V and I'm going to come in and practice balancing over my skating foot. The next exercise would be a forward inside pivot to a one foot spin. So I'm balanced over my toe. I'm gonna pivot. I'm on the ball of my foot to spin. Next, we have the mazurka. The goal is to hold our exit edge for four seconds, and we are going to be focusing on jumping and twisting in the air. As I scissor through, I'm gonna to wait till my free leg passes, then I'm going to twist my hips, scissor, land on my toe pick, and glide forward. We'll start off maybe just with a swizzle pump, Turn outside, scissor, toe pick, land. Let's go a little slower. We'll try to slow down the feet here. Turn outside, scissor, land. So as I get more advanced, I can add more back crossovers, more speed, pump, land. More speed. To break this down, I would do it up the wall. Let's head over there. So I'm pretending that I just did my back crossovers, turning my body to the outside. I'm tapping back. My free foot passes. Then my hips twist. I'm doing the scissor in the air, landing on my toe pick, and then gliding forward. You could also think of this as a sideways bunny hop. So practice your bunny hops forwards. And then simply, I'm just turning to the side and doing a sideways bunny hop. 
We have some waltz jumps next. Our goal is to hold our exit edge for six seconds. We're going to be focusing on balancing, edge control, and of course, jumping. We're going to start off learning this jump at the wall. So my free leg bends back. I'm gonna rock up to my toe pick and jump. So this is a good exercise we can do to feel the motion. The next exercise I would do is to practice balancing on my left forward outside edge. We'll just do a half rotation in place. And now I'm exiting on a back outside edge. So we'll walk it out, our walk through. Elbows back, knee back, up, half rotation, land. Now I would introduce this jump at the wall. I would hold on. If you're with a coach, they will probably hold on to you. We'll just do a mini hop or step. Just to feel the motion in the air. As you get more confident, you can change to that step into more of a jump. So I'm getting more confidence. Up. And out. So now, let's move on to the line. I'm going to start in a common position. Upside down T. My skating side will lead. So in this case, I'm a righty, so my left arm. Elbows back, bend the knees and the ankle, jump at top of the circle. Try to land back to our starting axis. Let's try that again. So I'm going to push onto left forward outside edge, get some momentum, and land. This is a great jump to also practice off ice to translate to on ice. Lastly, we have some back inside pivots. This is the bonus skill on our level. Our goal is to do this three times in a row without slowing down too much. The focus here will be edges and body position. Let's try this clockwise first. So I am anchored and bound over my left toe pick. My arms, I have kind of a wide L shape going, arm over the leg. I'm gonna pump and press on the front of my blade. One. Two, three. So as I'm doing this, I'm staying balanced. I'm not rocking back and forth and my hip and knee is slightly turned out. If I go the other way, now I have a backwards L. One, two. As an exercise, we can start off with some pumps. So we can do some quarter pumps, get comfortable, press on the front of the skate. Now I can do some half pumps. Getting more confident, now I can get all the way around. That is all for pre-free skiing, woohoo! I am so excited and it's so exciting to be on the next stage of Learn to Skate. I hope you guys love this video. Don't worry, more will be coming. I have my basic skills series uploaded. Be sure to like, subscribe, save, tell your friends, your skaters, and see you guys next time. Happy skating!